Hi, in this video we're going to demonstrate Clyde's Garden Planner for iOS version 1.2. Let's start by opening the app for the first time. Alright, now since we're opening the app for the first time, no frost dates have been set, so we're going to get this warning. I'm going to hit OK. And we're going to go to the gear button at the top, and we'll see that we can set our frost dates here. Now, there is no default frost date set because frost dates can vary widely from uh, location to location, so the best thing to do is to set no frost dates so that when uh, a user opens it, they must set their very specific frost dates. So we have a couple options for setting frost dates. We can enter them manually, like so, or we can pick from a predefined list. This is the same list that comes in the package with the paper version of the chart. I'm going to set mine manually. All right, now you'll see that the chart displayed immediately once we set the frost dates. And here we have, we have our vegetables on the left, just like the paper chart, and we see the red line, the planting and harvest times, just like the paper chart. And similar to the paper chart, we also have fall. So we can press that and we'll flip around and we'll see our dates for fall planting. Now if you get stuck or are having a little bit of trouble reading the chart, just click the help question mark button at the top and you'll give a little quick help here to give you some help. Of course you can always contact us if that doesn't answer your questions. Also notice in the settings here that we can change the displayed vegetables. You can turn them on or off if you want to customize it for your garden. And we can also change the hemisphere to northern or southern hemisphere to switch the months around. Now the app also gives planting information for the different vegetables, similar to the paper version of the app. Here we see we have all the vegetables that come with the app, and we can select, for instance, tomatoes, and it will give us information about how to plant them, how far away to plant them, and that sort of thing. All right, that's the end of this video. I hope it was helpful. And please don't hesitate to contact us if you have more questions.